Today we'll answer the question, is a 5 by 7 frame or an 8 by 10 frame more visually pleasing? But first, some history. The ancient Greeks used golden rectangles, which are any rectangles where the ratio of the length to width is the golden ratio, to create aesthetically pleasing as well as solid structures. Recall the golden ratio is exactly equal to the ratio of the sum of 1 and the square root of 5 to 2, or if we divide, approximately 1.618, or is a ratio 1.618 to 1. On the left, we have an orange golden rectangle. Notice for any positive value of x, the ratio of the length, the longer side, to the width or the shorter side is 1.618, which is an excellent approximation for the golden ratio. The golden rectangle is often used multiple times in the same building, such as the Parthenon, which is shown in figure 13.3 below in the middle. Golden rectangles can also be found in 20th century buildings as well, such as the Washington Monument, shown on the right. And now let's get back to our question. Again, common frame dimensions are 5 inches by 7 inches or 8 inches by 10 inches. Which is more visually pleasing? To answer the question, we calculate the ratios of the lengths to the widths. We'll round that value to the nearest thousandth and determine which size better approximates a golden rectangle and is therefore more visually pleasing. So again, the ratios we want are the ratios of the length to the width. So for a 5 by 7 frame, recall the length is always the longer side and the width is always the shorter side, and therefore the ratio is 7 to 5, and if we divide, 7 divided by 5 is equal to 1.4. And for the 8 by 10 frame, the ratio is 10 to 8, or if we divide, 10 divided by 8 is equal to 1.25. And because 1.4 is closer to the golden ratio of 1.618 than 1.25, the 5 by 7 frame is a better approximation of a golden rectangle, and is therefore more visually pleasing than an 8 inch by 10 inch frame. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching.